One of the most difficult things to do in my class is to find something for my kids while I'm tuning instruments. When the weather's changing or cold or warm, basically any time of year, tuning can take a long time. The instruments that we have in school aren't great, so that makes it even worse. I've tried do now assignments, but the kids get very bored very quickly. I can't ask them to practice because their instruments aren't tuned yet, so it's a vicious circle. I finally found something that my kids can do that they love. We play Kahoot. Kahoot is a timed game that can be played in about 10 minutes on the student's cell phones. And if a student doesn't have a phone, which is very rare in my classes, they can have teams. I make one for each different subject that I want my students to learn about. I can have one for note reading or one for rhythms or for music vocabulary, basically any subject that I want. While I'm tuning instruments, which I do at my desk, it's very easy just to click the mouse when it's time for the next question. And if I don't want to do both, I can just have a student be the teacher for the game, and students love to be the teacher. This can also be used as a quick formative assessment. I can see how each student has done at the end of the game, so it works out really well for me. I know which students know the material and who needs more review, and I know exactly what I have to review as well. My goal in using Kahoot is to have a do now at the beginning of each class so that I can get all the instruments tuned, which takes about 10 minutes. Kahoot also provides me with a formative assessment so I know what I have to review in class. My intended audience is my students. By using creative thinking, I'm solving a problem in classroom management, I-S-T-E-T-1-A. By using Kahoot, I'm providing my students with varied formative assessments that use technology and are aligned with the National Core Arts Standards, ISTE T2D. Now I'd like to show you how Kahoot works. So the first thing that you're going to do is go to create.kahoot.it and when you tell your students to go, they just go to kahoot.it and they'll pull up their game on their phones. So you're going to hit new K. Okay. And I'm going to do a quiz and I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to say rhythm. And I'm going to go. And the first thing that's going to pop up is question one. So let's say, what are these notes? And I'm going to, I've preloaded some pictures into my Google Drive, so I'll just be able to pull them down quickly. I'm going to choose File, make sure I'm in Google Drive, and I'm going to go to Eighth Notes. And there's my image. can't see it, but it's under there. And I'm going to put down four answers. I'm going to say quarter notes, half notes, chocolate ice cream, and eight notes. So eight notes is correct, so I'm going to click that, then I'm going to ask it to add a question. Good, so we're getting to the next question, and I'll say, what kind of a rest is this? And I'll go to choose file. And I'm going to pull up an eighth rest. And there's my eighth rest. Good. So I'm going to put in some answers. And I'm going to say quarter rest, half note rest, whole rest, eighth note rest. And I'm going to click which is correct, and I'm going to add the question. We'll do one more, and then I'll show you how it's played. What note is this? And let's find another note. Here's a half note. So I'll put that in. It's my half note. So this is going to be a half note, quarter note. Sneakers, 
you know someone's going to answer sneakers. And eighth note. I find that my students get really confused between half notes and eighth notes because one is half a beat and the other is two beats. So let's see how many are going to get these right. And this is a half note, so I'm going to make sure to make that correct. And I'm going to save and continue. So these are my three questions. I'm going to save and continue. I'm going to tell you, they'll, they want to know, okay, my primary audience is school. It's pretty beginning difficulty level. I'm going to leave everything as it is. Save and continue. I'll let them give me a cover image. And my quiz is done. So what I'm going to do now, I actually have another computer set up here. So I'm going to be able to play, pretend that I'm a student, and show you how it works. So we're going to play now. And we're ready. So we're going to launch it. Ready to join. It's going to give me a PIN number. And I'm going to put that in to my computer. And then my name is going to pop up. Got it in. Okay. I'm ready to go. There's my name. So I'm going to be playing this game. Start. First question that's going to come up is going to be, what are these notes? And it's going to show me the notes. Oh, no. And I got it correct. So I'm going to go on to the next. I didn't answer it so quickly, so I only got 822 out of 1,000 points. Let's see how I can do for the next one. What kind of a rest is this? Here comes my question. And I got it right. I got it right again. So in total, I have 2,603 points. I can go and I can get feedback and results. And so I see how I did. And I know what I've gotten right, what I've gotten wrong. And I know what I can work on. Anyway, this is Kahoot, and it's a really cool game that you can have your kids play, um, and it really takes only about 10 minutes to do it. I hope that you've enjoyed this.